Now that we have our ad set named here, the next thing we're going to do, we have our, our page selected. The next thing we're going to do is start creating our audience. So we're not going to mess with custom audiences or anything like that at this point in time. Maybe in a later course, I'll teach you guys how to do that if you haven't done it before. Um, so we're going to leave people living or recently in this location as is. We're going to unselect. So what we're trying to do here is get as detailed as we possibly can based on the fair housing practices that Facebook now allows us to have um, running real estate ads. So we're going to go ahead and under locations here, we're going to go ahead and unselect the United States. We don't want to run ads to everybody in the United States. However, we do want to run ads to people living in the city or in the city that we are trying to market to. For instance, Leander, Texas is the city that I'm trying to market to. Um, the pin, it's going to default to 15 miles. You can change this to greater if you want to target more people. Um, but I typically leave it and teach people to leave it at um, what it currently is. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that. There's a, there is another hack. You can exclude areas, but we're not going to talk about that. It's going to take way too long. Um, so let's go ahead and keep moving forward. Again, Leander, 15 miles, whatever city you're marketing to, select it. Uh, make sure you unselect the United States. Uh, again, with fair housing practice rules now, uh, we can't target by age or discriminate by age is really how they're looking at it, or by gender, right? Um, but by language, we can. Uh, we're not going to mess with language. We're not going to mess with age or gender, but we are going to move down to detailed targeting. So what's going to happen here in detailed targeting, we're going to target specific things that other people are looking to um, are looking to find homes. So wherever people are searching, we want to go meet them there. So we're going to go ahead and start building that out. The places that we're going to type in are going to be uh, our first first time, our things we're going to type in is first time buyer, which is essentially first time home buyer. Um, then we're going to type in Zillow. These are interests that we're targeting here. Uh, Realtor.com. Home buyers are typically going to these places. We all know that as real estate agents. Uh, Trulia. Homes.com. And let's see if we have any others. Uh, house hunting. And that should um, get us our targeting. So this is going to give us our targeting. So right now what we're looking at is we're looking at targeting people in Leander, Texas. Um, that are looking at purchasing a home. Um, this is going to be our basic targeting. What I encourage you to do is you can actually um, leave it open as well. I would test one versus the other to see which one uh, generates the most leads. So essentially you would still have Leander 15 mile radius and then leave this empty. So you can do a test for both if you have the budget to do it, uh, meaning $10 per day. Um, for each of those, basically $20 per day. Run it for five days, that'll give you which ad to keep open, uh, which targeting to keep open, um, and, and generating the most money. With that being said, the next thing we're gonna go to is placements. Under placements, we're gonna be looking at manual placing ads. Um, what we've always taught people and continue to teach people, we don't run Facebook ads and Instagram ads at the same time. They are two different places, they're run, owned by the same company, but they're two different locations. Uh, so there only there's a certain place that we want uh, our ad to appear, and that's in the Facebook news feed. What you're going to see here is going to say eight out of eight placements that support at, um, asset customization. We're going to unselect Instagram, and it's going to remove Instagram from all these locations. And then the only thing that we want to keep checked here is Facebook news feed. So everything else, we're going to come in here and unselect because it's not going to be where we want our actual ad to run. And you can confirm this by seeing here, it says one out of eight placements that support at, uh, the asset um, location. Um, everything else right now, we're gonna leave exactly how we want it to be. We're not gonna touch anything else at this point in time. Um, start date will be whatever time you start the ad uh, and you hit continue whenever we get to the end. For the, for the next video, what we're gonna be talking about is we're gonna be talking about the exact ad copy and the images to use. So go ahead and tap continue. And we'll see you in the next video discussing the actual ad copy, the words, and then the images as well.